Hey, what's up, everybody? My name is Trophy the Babbling Belgian, and welcome back to Prey. We're still, uh, well, just outside the simulation lab. We escaped that. Still don't know what's going on for reals. Because, uh, well, we know we've been tricked by our own brother to do these uh, tests. But apparently, the mimics have gone out. So there's these black creatures crawling all over the place. Those things. And they can transform into any object they want. And attack people. And they drain people from the energy and then just duplicate, as far as we've seen. So Caleb Hawthorn, his password is not here yet, so we're gonna have to find that somewhere. And then Alice Eichen, neural map specialist. He killed the last one over here, so I think, yeah, I didn't take the organ. And let's check the email simulation question. Hi, Alice. From Marco Simmons. I'll send you the white paper Alex and Morgan wrote. Here's the nutshell version for now. Gaining a new skill from a neural mold works similar to the way your brain creates new memories. In fact, it's impossible for now to separate the changes the mold makes from normal memory formation. So if I want to strip the neural mold that makes you play piano like Gustav Leitner, it will reset your brain back to the moment before you first installed it. They wanted Morgan's mind pristine to receive the prototype neural molds. That means going way the hell back. Hence the apartment sim. Yous are dedicated to the science is all I can say. Hit me up for, late, for lunch later. So we kind of agree on doing whatever we are doing right now to test out those new neuro molds. So they reset our brains to go all the way back. Just gonna smack that. I don't trust that cup for one bit. And I can either go up here and open that up. The maintenance access panel. And there's a few items over here as well, which I definitely am going to use. And there's an explosive canister here, which is always nice. And we can bypass the door like that, or we can just open up the door like a normal person. Which is what I'm going to do. Because, I mean, we got the keycard, might as well open it up. Uh, knock. Oh, what the hell is that supposed to be? What was that, January? That was a phantom. Typhon Anthrophantasmus. Keep moving. Keep moving. You're telling me that now. That's another apple. So I have a shield, but it haven't, I haven't seen it really do anything just yet. Is it still in that room? Because it seems to have left the premises. I mean, the other door is over there, so it would have popped me into this area immediately. Probably should not go on top of the glass. And is there anything here? No, coffee table. I need to probably have a skill for that. What's this? Repair. But I can't repair. There's a tutorial for it, but... Many objects on Talos 1 can be repaired if you have the repair skill and enough spare parts. But I need the repair skill. I... Wait, the game says Mimic. It's a frozen mimic. Sneak attack for 150% damage. And it gives me the glue cannon. Okay, I suppose that's something. Suit repair kit, med kit and glue canisters. The Transtar glue cannon, jelly foam lattice organism obstructor, disables and or immobilizes targets without harming them. Glue can extinguish flames and temporarily stop electric arcs. When hardened, glue can also be used as a climbable platform. Press R2 to fire your glue cannon, press and hold R2 to fire a continuous stream. Okay. So that's probably what this thing is. I'm gonna take all the ammo in the world. There we go. So... There's a corpse up there. Why is there a corpse up there? Just gonna go up here. I can probably do... Oh god. Oh god. <laughs> Natasha Nikova. Okay. Everybody we've been hearing about is freaking dead. Peels. I probably can't do anything with peels. Morgan, there. In the foyer. Grab the neuromod you see in the display case. Normally it's a fake, but I swapped in a real one for you. The neuromods are critical. You won't survive without using them to install new aptitudes. 
I've already updated your transcribe with the list you requested. Take a look. Okay. Everything you know is about to change. I'm just gonna drop down on this thing. And sneak on it. Oh god, no, no, there's another one. Oh god. I'm stuck. There we go. Okay. Okay. So they can be... Oh god. I can't kill them. But they kind of like make no noise. Or very little noise as long as you don't antagonize them. There's a code for this thing. Um, and I probably need to check out skills. Okay, I totally... In all the confusion, I totally missed the skills thing. Everything you know is about to change. So, contact me again as I reach the foyer. Pick up the neural mod. Okay, so it was inside that glass case, right? A glass case in the center. Oh, that one. That one. Okay, yeah, it's marked. It's marked. Seems fine. In the glass case. So that means I need to make noise. The Neuromold is a revolutionary trend star invention that allows you to learn new skills and abilities. Press the touchpad. Okay. Okay, okay. So that opened up immediately. Scientists. Um, use knowledge of science, medicine and specialized lab equipment to your advantage. Specialize in modifying your gear, repairing and crushing problems with your wrench. And boost your physical abilities, skill with firearms and security tactics. But let's start with repair first. Yes. Oh yes, ooh, gold. No dice cell. There we go, our first trophy, and that looked horrifying. That looked horrifying. So that goes all the way to my brain. I knew you would pick that. Now, let's get you to the main lobby. Okay, so first things first. I think there's one more mimic around here, and there's two buckets here. Ah, fucking knew it. That's ridiculous. I knew that was one, but... Damn it, that was half my health again. I knew that was one. But for some reason, he knew I was coming as well, so... Okay, so... That means I'm gonna have to grab another... Met kits. Maybe even two. Yeah, even two. So let's get back to a hundred. That's all our med kits done. But I'm pretty sure I can now repair this thing. Oh, we need six spare parts. Great. So I think if I jump that. Yeah, okay. There we go. So now we're over here. And I think the Glue, can I use that to make platforms? Like this. Like that. And then... Um, oh god. I slept off. I think I can do that, right? Yeah, there we go. Okay, we're up. Don't know if I could just take the stairs, by the way. But I don't think I can, so... Now we're up here. Welcome volunteers. Yeah, I think the volunteers all died. Volunteer testing is also blocked off with a code. And I still need to be careful. And a disruptive stun gun. And then take all of that. The disruptive stun gun will knock out human targets. Typhoon are more resistant but can still be temporarily stunned. Robotic devices can also be temporarily disabled and ultimately destroyed by the disruptor. Hold R2 to charge your stun gun and release the fire. Okay. Okay. So we have a stun gun, a flashlight, glue cannon and a wrench. That's something. That's something to start. Imperial tulips, okay. I got some flowers. 
I don't know, that was... Why was it blinking? I'm just gonna hit everything. So those are spare parts. So I think if I check my inventory, I can see how many... I have two spare parts right now. Uh, ah, and the suit repair kit actually allows me to repair myself, which is also interesting. So we need six spare parts to fix that one thing. What the hell went wrong with this box? Aside from getting the stun gun, I didn't get much from getting up here because all the doors are locked. And everything else seems to be fine. I'm just gonna... Ooh. I don't know how bad the fall damage is in this game. Seems to be pretty okay. So we're at two repair kits now. So I feel like it, as long as you don't hit anything, yeah, the stamina comes back immediately. But... Once you hit something, even just a wall, things get more dicey. Yeah, here's something... Definitely something quivering. Is it the book? There we go. It was the book. It was the book. Call it this time. Okay. Starting to learn a bit. Typhon organ and 9mm bullets. Does this guy have a gun then? Transcribe. There we go. Let's listen to that. Alice! Thank God, no one else is... Where are you? Hiding. I'm in the conference room. I, I can't... Jesus, you're still in the lab? I can't get out. There's... What the hell is security? I don't know what's happening, but Robert, you have to get out of there. Come to the elevators. Someone said we're evacuating. Robert? Shh. Hang on. Someone's coming. And then he died. Probably. From the mimic that we found in his room that was okay so i'm really on edge now because of all the mimics and that's probably just the basic enemy which is great isn't it um restroom might as well check out the uh... can i so if i could move that i could probably get into that room but right now not so i need leverage one to actually get in there yeah, that's definitely a mimic, but the question is which one of the two? Ah, for fuck's sake, I knew it. That thing does so much damage, probably because of the difficulty. What was that? Was that another one? Oh, for fuck's sake. Where is it? Where is it? There we go. Okay, hold up without getting hit again. Jesus Christ. I don't even know what that was. It was... Oh, the vase or whatever that's supposed to be. The umbrella stand? Okay. A uh, crumpled piece of paper. I don't know how small they can get either. I'm almost dead. My suit is also getting damaged slowly. Which is probably also not good, and there's absolutely nothing in this place, aside from a few healing items. Which probably don't come close to what I actually need to get healed up now. So the apple is 5. The Sky King Pomegranate is 5. And then the Cold Mountain Green Tea is 5. Cures fear, so if I'm fearful I can use the wine to cure that. And just the T then. There we go. I don't know why that makes that noise. I'm high on T. Can I open that up? Travel. Yes. I can tell you one thing. The loading times are really long. And I feel like my health is coming back because of that status effect of eating the food. So yeah, that's coming back. That is great. I don't know what I need to do to trigger that. Probably eat some more food. Ready for your first real view of the world? Okay, so this guy is also dead. Shotgun shells and a med kit. I can definitely use the med kit. And there's nothing in the briefcase. So I'm almost back to full and there we go. In case you were wondering, we're definitely on a space station. The Talos 1 space station. Okay, I'm gonna assume for now that there aren't any enemies. This might be a problem. Use cigar. Don't think I can use that. 
Why is the music all of a sudden going crazy? Can I actually drink? Maybe if I find a few things to drink from, I can actually get some... Uh, okay. I'm gonna call it Vitality. Okay. Careful. You need to get to your office. I've updated your map. There's a video you need to see. I know you have a lot of questions. Yes, I do. Dallas 1 is open for you to explore. From the lobby you can reach other parts of the space station via the bulkhead doors and lifts. You return to the lobby in other areas to discover it as often as you'd like. Okay. So let's take the beer. I'm gonna whack on everything. I don't trust anything in this place. Oh, this is gonna be such a problem. Okay, so, get my bearings a bit. So that's my office over there. We have the hardware labs, neuromult division, psychotronics, all fancy words that don't mean anything to me. Just gonna whack everything a bit every time I come across something. Um, and gather, I don't know what I can do with banana peels. Is that kind of a food item, maybe? I can't smash that glass. I can't smash this, however. Can't I go in there? That seems like open up, open. I mean, I'm in it. Morgan, you need to slim down a bit. I'm just gonna stay crouched for now. Attention, station leadership has issued an alert. All personnel should report to muster stations immediately and await further instructions. So we need to get higher as a star, but I think we came from higher up, right? That was... Oh... Gold Nelly. Way too many stairs. A stairs? Chairs. Oh, Gold, why? Oh god, I'm dead. There was a lot of them. And now what happens? Okay, so we're back in the lobby. Didn't really pick up anything interesting. So I'm gonna try and see what happens here. So we're definitely... There we go, that's one. So I can use the glue cannon to kind of freeze it. Die! And then there was one more. There were definitely three. There it is. How the hell does this thing work? God damn you. So, they still do a lot of damage. This is gonna hurt in the long run. Gonna smack a few of these things away now. Where the hell did it go? I think it ran off. Does that thing actually run off? Run off. That's rude. It just ran off on me. Okay. So that gives me a little bit of time. Oh, Jesus Christ. I scared myself there. She hit one more time than I thought I pressed, but apparently not. So, okay. So, I'm exhausted again. Shouldn't do that. Should definitely not do that. But can, can check this out. And there's absolutely no resources whatsoever. So, I need to go over here, take the med kit. Med kits are good. So, the mimic definitely went in this direction. So, I need to be careful and expect at least one more mimic on the left. Just gonna grab the glue cannon.
Get over here, you... Damn, I can't aim with this thing. There we go. Okay. 9mm bullets. At least I'm getting guns. Uh, guns, bullets. The restroom. Somebody spilled oil over here. This seems like they're all in the right mind. So again, really, really not a lot of items around here. I get plant clippings. Does that thing also have a battery? I just noticed the, the flashlight also has a battery. That's great. That's great. If I drink, do I get... I get one health from drinking. Which is interesting. <sighs> I'm gonna get really paranoid. Jesus Christ! Oh god. Ah, oh, damn. Um, yeah. That was something. So they give you a med kit. And then just dump a bunch of mimics on your head. That's counterproductive. And that's the same the space elevator. I don't think I care, I care about that. Because at the moment, I'm spending more resources than I'm getting. I mean, I have a few med kits, but I don't want to spend all of those constantly. Use cigar and banana peel. I'm gonna use that. That's three chairs for three terminals. That seems okay. And more uh, water fountains. I am going to abuse the shit out of the water fountains, now that I know that it gives you just a little bit of health. What's this? Ah, cigar box, never mind. Lemon peel. No, 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 okay. This place is huge. I'm going to lose my way really, really quickly. I'm going to have to make a mental map of everything. What's this? That's a turret. Is the turret hostile towards me? Scanning target, no alien material detected. Okay. That's good. Some more flammable shit and more corpses where that came from. Here's another third baseball glove. I'll take that, because that's it's weird. Turret doesn't care about me, which is good. Can I get into those offices, probably not. There's another corpse here. Burn circuit board and suit repair kit. Something. Can't go to the shuttle bay. So that's the shuttle bay. And I can probably use those turrets to my advantage. Jesus Christ, everybody's dead. Biohazard waste. Oh god! For fuck's sake! Wait, did it? Die? What the hell just happened? I still heard something. I think the turret took it out. But by accident, the, the turret actually hit me as well? Or did the, the mimic hit me? Ooh. That's the main elevator, the main lift. So we could call it, but that may... Maybe there's something on the elevator. I don't want to have that happen. So I really need to check out objects on tables. Because those guys seem to be the most annoying ones to spot. Wait, are we back where we came from? Oh, we are. We are, aren't we? Okay, so this thing is not as large as I thought it was. Just going to hit everything I come across. So that's another corpse. And what's her name? Uh, Alice. Oh, this is Alice. Okay, so Alice is also dead. Is there anybody still alive in here? Actually, because I feel like there isn't. Callie, also a baseball glove. Okay, and that seems that seems interesting. It's another neuro mold. This. Uh, I saw that. I saw that. It's saving, but I don't want it to save because there's a phantom over there. Good morning, Talos. 
Breakfast is served in the cafeteria until. Oh God! I don't know if that works. I think I hit it, but I need to use a mat kit. Uh, let's use it and use it. And then I need to go to the glue cannon. Where'd it go? I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. Yeah, I died. I don't know how that works. Luckily, it saved right then and there. Where did where they go? Where they go? I think it went around the corner again. There we go. There we go. There we go. There we goes. So an organ, spare parts, recycler charge. And that for some reason picked it up. When that needed the recycler charge breaks down the molecular structure of nearby objects into recyclable material. Your uniform offers some degree of protection but does not feel safe. Standing too close can prov prove hazardous. Recycler charges can be thrown or affixed to stationary objects using R2. Okay. And a broken cooler fan. So there's going to be some way of using stuff like that later on, I suppose. I'm going to use another mat kit. I don't know if the game saved, so I'm just going to do a quick save as well. So this thing is mine. There are other suits, the psychoscope, but I don't see the psychoscope. They are actually flammable. Ooh. What's that noise? It's like a windy noise. Yeah, I think there's a weird noise right here that I can't really decide where it's coming from. Get another mat kit over here, so that's fine. Oh. Oh, oh, you were explaining shit to me, wait. One. 1963. A top secret Cold War negotiation culminates with Americans and Soviets working together on a research facility named Kletka. Kletka, Russian for cage, produces the skeleton and core emergency systems of what will one day become Talos 1. 1964. After the attempted assassination of Kennedy and Khrushchev's departure, the U.S. pays for the rights to use Kletka as a testing facility. This period, known as Project Axiom, leads to many advancements in next-generation materials and bioscience fundamental to neural modification. 1980 to 1994. Geopolitical developments result in a temporary hold on Project Axiom. After the unfortunate Pobeg incident, in which two research scientists lose their lives, the Kletka facility is decommissioned and cleaned. 2025. The Transtar Board of Directors is established. Transtar purchases and privatizes the Kletka facility with a focus on safety and state-of-the-art upgrades. I don't trust that. Okay. See, wait. 2030. Ta ah, okay. 2030. Talos 1 becomes fully operational, representing a monument of private space industry. The first Neuromod is released, allowing for dramatic enhancement to the human mind and body. And talking about which, we have another one, so I might as well check that out at the Neuromods tab. So, either we go with leverage which help us lift those things, but I don't want to do that just yet. So, security is bullshit. So, I think maybe hacking. Bypass level 1 security measures on computers and robotic systems. Might help us open up a few things, and otherwise, physician one. Because I need to get more out of my med kits. Because right now, that's not a lot. Survivor's account of the evacuation day one. I had dropped off my dog at the groomer. Her name was Eliza. It means joy. I said goodbye and walked a few blocks to get some cafe bots near the park. Some jets flew over very low, and the sound was so loud it made me jump. I don't know where they were from, but they were bristling with bombs and rockets. 
Everyone was looking up and the sound of the jets was echoing off the buildings but we could not see them anymore. The sky was clear and I could see pink smoke rising from the direction of the stadium. Then the sirens started. I had not heard them since my childhood. Some people stood confused but my instinct told me to run. Run away from the stadium. Run away from Elisa. Some people were running with me but we didn't know where to go. I saw a policeman directing people into a basement restaurant. I think it was an old bomb shell. I looked up at the sky again and saw an airliner. It was not military, I'm certain. I think it was going to the airport. While I watched, I turned into glitter without a sound. It was just gone. A man near me began to curse. I fell down and hit my head on the street. Okay. The evacuation. I'm just gonna use the glue cannon here to... God damn it. Because there's two of these next to each other. I want to avoid blowing them up. But at least we have that. Oh god. Oh god. That was bullshit. Go run, 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 run. That's one. Oh god. There's a lot of them. There's a lot of them. Okay, that's one. But there were definitely... Two more where that came from. So I got a bit panicky with the glue gun there, but at least we didn't get hit once. So it might be that they ran over here and that the turret actually took them out, because there's two new dead ones over here. The turret still seems to be fine and it lit the, the pool of oil on fire over here, so that must be where those two went. Which is good that this place is defended a little bit. I was running around with a... An ignited... Oh, Jesus Christ. Okay, I just hit at nothing. There we go. I'm completely calm. I am so calm, you can't imagine me just smacking cups around. I mean, Michelle, if you're watching this, I know you recommended this game to me, but... God damn, this is not calming my nerves. Damn boxes. But, staircase. At least we're getting up the stairs. What was that? God damn you. Is something in the trash can? Might as well check it out. I'm gonna take the baseball glove as usual. Oh yeah, that's definitely not gonna be. Um. Oh, did it? Did it just jump down? It's coming back up the stairs, isn't it? Did it die because it landed? Because that seems to be a dead one. Yeah, okay. I think it died. I think it died from fall damage. So those things are actually weak to fall damage as well. So the safe lounge is also inaccessible. What is that? I get like a prompt when I hit it for some reason. But I don't see what it would be. Because we need to go one... More level up. Keeping an eye on everything. Yeah, definitely something in the next room. And I still haven't gotten a gun. I got a lot of ammo. So that's a turret. Turret is friendly to me. That's definitely one. Come on. Give it to me. I think there might be two cigar boxes next to each other. Who needs two cigar boxes? Nobody does! That's Those are file containers. Trophy net. File containers. We're fine. That's another keycard for the trauma center, but we already had that. So. Let's smack that just to be sure. Didn't, didn't completely miss that. Emails. Miss Goodwin. I'm going to need more support. The volunteers are agitated more than usual. This morning, Eleven threatened to bash my head in if I didn't let them out to stretch their legs. When you get up... Oh, number 11 probably. When you get up there, the key code is 2352, not the old number on fire. I'm pretty sure they've been watching me punch that in, so I changed that. John Haskins, okay. And then meeting with Gustav. Dr. Igwe, I relate your previous request and we'll see what we can do, but there are no guarantees. The schedule for the visit is tight and may not allow for a face-to-face. -face. I'll let you know when I have more details. Sincerely, Bianca, Talos 1, volunteer and guest liaison. 
And it's good when to follow up on the previous request. I was wondering if there had been any updates on Gustav Leitner's visit. Is it still taking place? And if so, could it be possible to get a copy of his itinerary? I would love a chance to meet him before the neural mapping procedure if possible. So new guy. And there we go. Igwe showed up quite impolite. He shook Leitner, Leitner's hands like he was afraid of breaking him. Asked him to sign an album he'd brought. Leitner seemed flattened, so that was a plus. We tried to make him comfortable. His condition hasn't stopped him from craving a cigarette. His fingers were twitching. It's too bad. Such a talent. No wonder he wanted to get scanned. So people are getting scanned for some reason. Are they getting scanned to do tests on them? Or is there something else uh, hiding in that motive there? Because I feel like this station wasn't on the up and up. Oh god. Thank you. Thank you. Anybody see duplicate items? There's boxes. I'm just gonna whack the shit out of the boxes. Um, otherwise, there's a note here. Please move these remaining boxes to my new office in Neuromod Division as soon as feasible. Okay, and one more email. Oh, jeez. There we go. Sylvain, I'm trusting you with my brain. You do good. So from Morgan. From Morgan. So from us. I'm trusting you with my brain. You do good work, so hopefully that continues. Listen, if the tests don't go well, if something happens, let Alex know that I know it wasn't his fault. I signed up for this. Okay. The code to your office is 0451. Oh yeah, the classic one. So that's the code that's coming back in uh, a lot of games here, 451. Um, also, if the test drags on, tests drag on, consider moving your office down to Sim. Less hassle and you can always move back after we celebrate our success. So this was his original office, Bellamy's original office, that makes sense. So, and they moved him down to the other uh, office we saw at the beginning, in the first episode. And that's the third we're here. Okay, let's just... Quiet for a second. So that's our office. So office of Morgan Hugh. We'll take a little break and when we get back we're gonna head into our own office. So VP Director of Research. So why would we sacrifice ourselves then to research? Guess we'll see you in the next episode. So thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed this episode and I'll see you guys in the next episode of Prey. Goodbye.